welcome to another amazing video that we're going to show this week for a project that I've been captivated for uh, three months now and yes it's been very hard because I have to do the entire thing by myself but as you can see the results are pretty satisfying I animated this little bird in a matter of two hours for 800 frames um, straight ahead animation I don't I don't block I don't usually block my animations um, for for living things such as this one I just um, tend to watch a lot of reference film 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 birds in this case with my phone uh, explore what what their traits are and what they do specifically with their head since they are very curious animals and they are all, all always watching their surroundings so no predators can you know eat them in this case this project is a magpie bird as you can see in the colors let me see if I can render this out for you and sure enough we have controllers for the eyes for the tongue for the beak for the neck and well right now he was just blinking let me let me get another frame and this project uh, was very long but also very satisfying in the end because the, the entire rig took me around uh, one month and another month for textures and and constraints and, and coding keyframes but anyways this project it's looking pretty awesome the rig is pretty slick it worked very well and let me just show you the schematic view because this as you can see has got a lot of scripted operators a lot of uh, functions that will allow me to easily move the bird a lot of hierarchies a lot of children and what this is most full of it's um, the, the feathers I did two complete separate system rigging systems one was a light um, rig system for this um, for this basic controller thing and the other one which you can probably see right here no, not that much it's a complete and very heavy controllers for the wings look at that amazing huh well each one of those little controllers there do something different on each of the feathers so you can imagine I really had to place each one of the feathers one by one and then um, allow the rig to manipulate it so that whenever possible the the bird will do a nice um, wingspan with everything that it's required for for the bird to do when flying so let's just um, as you can see this is my list for the layers got a lot of layers in my case I'm going to hide this because it's just too heavy for the viewport and let's check this out again so the bird comes here and then he jumps checks his environment I had to play a lot of with with his neck and the head so that it will feel alive you know because they got this kind of a automatic suspension between the body and the head so that's something that definitely had to go there and it worked quite nicely anyways it's got feathers it got it's got fur it's got um, a tongue a, a beak and every animation controller that I could uh, think for his performance it's on this um, lightweight um, rig so thank you very much for watching this I have around 56 hours of time-lapse video for the creation of this bird and I'm totally uh, thinking about bringing a very nice and interesting course about coding in Blender I'm going to be using the techniques that I've used here in Softimage and porting them to Blender now that we finally are going to get the release candidate for July 11. That's somewhere around two weeks from now. And I hope you um, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see the second season for the new tutorials that are going to be appearing on Blender 2.8. 
for now on I'm going to be concentrating on more advanced stuff not so much on how to do basic things but how to combine different VFX directly on Blender because right now this is all that we have been waiting for for the last three years we've expected Blender to grow to such heights as it is right now even the USD format is about to be included in Blender which means that you can now send and receive different formats from different applications which support the USD file format. It's most likely that Alembic and USD are going to be the powerhouses on Blender and Softimage right here <laughs> is going to be around. I'm going to still take ideas from what I used to work on this amazing software and porting them into Blender. So don't worry if you want to know more news about all of these please subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button so you get instant notifications whenever I upload a new video. I have like four or five videos that are on the edit room but I really really had to finish this project first so thank you very much for your patience and I hope to see you on the next video.